Well, you can choose your skill level for this year's Roll for the Cure. Here to learn more about it, we're joined by John Woodall, the chairman of the Roll for the Cure. Thank you very much for coming in. Well, thank you for having me. The Appreciate Roll for the Cure, what's it all about? Well, it's this is our third year mm -hmm. of the event and um, started this to um, raise, just as an avenue to raise money for not only cancer research, but other patient care needs and so forth that really go unmet and the Lexington Foundation, Lexington Cancer Foundation, um, you know, does a great job in all the events that they do and uh, kind of stepped in with us to help us do this a few years ago and um, we've, we've learned a lot from the first two years and so forth and this is the third year so we're really excited about it and uh, it's a super event. We've, we've been very successful. You know, cancer is something that touches everybody. Oh. So it's it's um, it's an, it's something that that um, you know people jump into. And Lexington's a big cycling community, so we figured it was just a matter of time before this thing kind of took off. And that's that's what we expect it to do this year. Now there's some things that are new this year. Tell us about a few little tweaks. Well, I'll tell you what. We we changed the routes around. Uh, we you know we we really tried to listen to the feedback from. Uh, from participants and uh, anybody that knows anything about cycling knows that the Kentucky River Valley is some of the most scenic cycling anywhere in the country but it's also tough yeah. especially the closer <laughs> you get to the Kentucky River it's hard to design a hundred mile route uh, around here that doesn't somehow incorporate the river in the hills but the first two years I mean it was challenging especially the 50 and the hundred mile route so being that this was the third year, we decided to kind of switch it up some, and the folks from the Bluegrass Cycling Club, Patrick Wesolowski and others, that really, really helped us redesign our routes. And so it, it's not as if we've totally reinvented the wheel. We just kind of uh, used some of the routes that they used, or parts of the routes they used for um, their Horsey 100. So these are tried and true, and and um, really, really expect a, a, a good turnout and a, and a great ride, whether you want to go 25, 50, 100, or just stay downtown. Well, and, and so people are able to do that. If they sure. want it to be really challenging, they can, but mm -hmm. they also can make it a little bit more fun, a little easier. Absolutely. We change the, not only change the routes, but we change the pricing too, so, mm -hmm. and, and, and reduce that to try to increase our ridership, and because corporate sponsorship has gone so well for us, we're able to do that. But if you just want to come with your family and have a police escort, ride up uh, Richmond Road and turn around Shinaway and come back down to the Triangle Park uh, area where we'll have uh, blow-ups and all that type of thing for kids and, and all the things that go along with that. You can do that. Likewise, if you want to get in with the crazies and go 100, uh, you can do that. Uh, I've tried that a few yeah. times myself. It's awesome. Well, it sounds like a really scenic ride and a, yeah. a great thing to do, a great way to help a lot of people because, as sure. you said, those expenses can really increase. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And it's right. not just the research side of things. It's the other patient care needs that are really important, and nobody else meets those needs but the foundation. So, so. two weeks from tomorrow, tomorrow, and if people want information, LexingtonFoundation.org is one place to get that. Absolutely. Well. All mm -hmm. right. Good luck with it. Thank you so Thanks. much for having me.